What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to go in and do an Undercity um, run, guys. But what I wanted to bring is because we finally got one of these tributes, which is a legendary tribute or, excuse me, a unique tribute. And it has a very special keyword with it, which is called United. So United Tributes rewards all participating players. So the idea here is we're going to go through and do this Undercity. Um, that's going to give us, like, completing the dungeon with at least one attunement rank, reward several uniques with an increased chance of a mythic unique. So I have other unique tributes, but they have a different keyword, and if it's not united, not everybody in your party is going to get it. It's only going to be for just you. So we finally got one. These are very hard to get, so we're going to try it. Okay, we're going to see what happens, and hopefully we get a really good chance of getting a mythic unique. Because the idea is, is if I get a Mythic Unique, my two teammates should also get a Mythic Unique, which would be really awesome. So we're going to go into the tribute here. We're going to go ahead and throw this sucker in there. And uh, it looks like we got a starting time of 45 seconds with a bonus penalty as well as a potion drop penalty. So we got to be really quick. We are also going to come in here and bargain a passive ranks for 50 million gold. So legendary amulets will always possess at least one passive rank. So hopefully we get some really good... Um, ancestral gear as well as a potential mythic unique so here we go we're gonna go ahead and bust this right now go ahead and do this 50 million gold later let's run it my teammates will join up and let's go do this this should be really cool hopefully we get a mythic unique this is the first time that i've done the united tributes so uh it should be it should be pretty awesome we shouldn't have any issues getting through here but um, I think as long as we like kind of split up and kill everything and get all the time, we should be okay. We should be just fine. We're gonna try to try to kill it. Cause the idea is just like with any Karas run, we want to make sure that we're getting the maximum bonus. Because having more attunement, if we can get to level four, should give us a way better odd of getting to getting a mythic unique so here we're just going through there's some more times over here i kind of want to just clear the entire floor we got plenty of time make sure we get everything kill all these time guys there we go nice because it is kind of difficult to get the max i think we cleared it right all the beacons are lit gondor calls for aid Just straight blasting. With this teleport build, we just kind of just destroy everything. Crushing hands. Everybody should be playing crushing hands. I almost feel like the Undercity is probably so much easier to do in a group. Because you can just split and gather all the time and it counts towards everything. As opposed to like having to wait or like clear it yourself and potentially run out of time. Oh boy, we got to clear every inch of this thing. Make sure all these beacons are lit. We're only at two attunement. Oh my gosh. We got plenty of time too. We've racked up plenty of time. All right. We're going on to, there we go. Nice, the spirit embodies us. Oh yeah, we're gonna get it. Floor three. Oh yeah, we got this, we got this. It should be a relatively quick run. We got all the time in the world, guys. See, and this was something that even with the negatives on the tributes, that like even with the negatives, like if you're efficient and just going through, especially with teammates. Oh, I died from a explosion. I'll just go ahead and res myself. All right, we have max attunement, so now we can just go towards the exit. Wherever it is. I'm not sure where it's at. Where is the exit? I'm trying to find it myself. Oh, it's right here. By me. Ooh, there's a Hive Master boss down here. He's dead now. Where is it? Oh, it's to, to the south? Okay. Yep. All right, we're on the way. We got max reward. 
So now all we got to do is kill the boss and let's see what we can get here. I'm uh, I'm kind of nervous about it, so we'll see. This is either going to be really awesome or it's going to kind of suck, but hopefully we'll get one. I guess it is random, but let's see what we got here. He's almost dead. I guess we'll pop the chest. Oh! We got a mythic. We got a mythic. The Melted Heart Sigil. I didn't get one. You did not get one. Neither did I. Chris also did not get one. So... That is a really big bummer. So I was able to get one. And not only that, I, I guess I did get a ravenous skill thing on this amulet. And that's the only one that I got. That is... Huh. Not worth, not worth 50 mil, in my opinion. Yeah, that is... So, guys, people who are watching us finish this run... We did end up with a Mythic Unique, which is really nice. Unfortunately, neither one of my teammates got it. And, and on top of that, the 50 million gold that I spent, this was the one single amulet that I got with a skill on there, and it's not even Ancestral. So, although getting the Mythic Unique was very nice, um, all this gear here, in my opinion, is not worth that 50 million. But running the tribute itself is perfectly fine. Um, yeah, that's we're going to exit the dungeon. That is really, really bad. So we did end up with a mythic, which is really nice. But like the rest of the loot is garbage. And then if we ended up not getting this mythic unique, then that means that the tribute itself like is also not worth it in here when you put a legendary one in. So that 50 million one is definitely not worth it. Um, wow, what an absolute drag. It's not even ancestral. And the power is not even max. That is really bad. Okay, well, um, that was a that was an armor piece I already had. Well, guys, that is um, that is pretty terrible. That is just awful. Well, that is a big drag. Uh, the Melted Heart will just have to salvage. And the fact that we got Ravenous for Spearborn is, I mean, that doesn't do us anything. So that is a bummer, guys. Well, appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you so much. Um, I would just be very weary of doing the tributes. The United Ones are nice with a chance to give a Mythic to your friends. However, the $50 million run for the amulets and stuff, I would 100% say that is not worth it. If I'm spending $50 million gold on that tribute run, I should be guaranteed a ancestral gear piece um, and at least more than one amulet. Like, we got one. I guess if maybe the mythic wasn't a mythic, that might have been two. But out of all this gear here, all these slots here, all we got is one amulet. I spent 50 million gold on one amulet. That's that's not worth it. So Blizzard is definitely going to have to um, increase those because this is 100% not worth it. And on top of that, in this run, I got no runes. So that was kind of a bummer. Unless I picked some runes up and I didn't see it. Maybe I picked it up too quick. But anyway, guys, that was the United Tribute um, run so hopefully this guy's gives you some insight on the decisions you guys make with those tribute just be wary um the undercity is awesome but just be wary on those guys so thank you so much for watching like the video comment down below let me know what you guys think and as always stay gaming i'll see you guys in the next one peace